Going forth tonight is Alex Boomgarden. Alex is a fifth year, in his fifth year in the Biological Sciences program within the College of Science. Alex's presentation tonight is entitled, Looking for Cancer with Capture. Since joining a cancer biology lab, my parents frequently ask me, are you looking for a cure for cancer? As it might be obvious, my parents are not scientists. So I always tell them, you bet I am. <laughs> but the truth is, is I'm not looking for a cure for cancer, but instead, I'm looking for cancer. Or rather, I'm looking to develop a method to detect and diagnose cancer at its earliest, most non-lethal stage. And all it should take is a drop of blood. I study what is called the microvesicle, which are membranous structures released from all cells in the human body. What is unique about microvesicles is that they are jam-packed with proteins that tell us what cells they are released from, almost like a calling card for each cell in our body. By virtue, the moment a cell becomes cancerous, that calling card, or microvesicle composition, will change, revealing vital information about the cancer, including, and most importantly, its location and severity. Upon their release, tumor microvesicles, or TMVs as we call them, can be found within our blood. Therefore, if we can find a way to characterize the composition of TMVs, these structures can be developed into one of the most powerful tools in cancer diagnostics today. Now you may be asking yourselves, if TMVs have such strong potential in diagnostics, why haven't I seen them in hospitals yet? Well, due to their small size and similarities to other membranous structures, TMVs are incredibly difficult to isolate from our blood, making it impossible for physicians to know what proteins they're made of and which of these correspond to a given cancer. My research develops a novel approach to purify and characterize TMV proteins from a complex biological sample. This led me to develop what I call the capture method, which allows me to tag and capture proteins present solely within TMVs. How this works is we fuse a labeling protein onto a bait protein that is trafficked into a TMV. Almost like a magnet, this label allows us to now capture TMVs for purification and downstream analysis. My capture method has proven successful and enabled me to characterize TMV proteins from malignant melanoma. We are now looking to apply the capture method to TMVs from various other cancers, specifically at early and late stages, which will provide a panel of markers for highly sensitive and accurate cancer diagnostics. Physicians will be able to harness this information one day to test your blood for the presence of such TMV markers during a simple yearly physical. So if your parents are just as interested in cancer research as mine are, tell them that the breakthroughs will emerge when we shift the focus from curative medicine to personalized and preventative medicine. And the pivotal step in this direction is tumor microvesicle research. Thank you. Wow, Alex, um, what have I been doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> um, really impressive. Uh, thank you so much. I, I, we understand that you also love animals. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you <laughs> have a pet? What, you know? uh, so, yes, uh, my fiance and I have a dog and a cat. Wow. And right when we first started dating, uh, we were a little worried uh, because our dog is a German Shepherd Husky mix. Yeah. We have a small tabby cat. So we're a little concerned with uh, bringing them both in, into the household, but uh, they get along great now. They're getting along great. Well, good luck uh, on your engagement and best wishes for your marriage as well, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks so much, Alex.